Hello, Radiant Ones. This is Chanel. If you're here watching the replay, welcome. And um, I have this on a book that I'm going to be starting next called $1,000 and an Idea Entrepreneur to Billionaire. Welcome, Kay Robinson, MD. If you hear the music in the background, that's because I am a mommy. And those of you who know me know that. Um, hey, how are you, Elite MP? How you doing? Um, hey, Elite MP. I know who that is. I'm like, who is Elite MP? Everybody follow Elite MP. I believe I know who that is. Um, I got some good stuff to share. Bear with me. It's quiet. But we're going to hope that baby girl allows us to get through this scope. The title is, hey... I see you. I love that handle. Awesome. Everybody follow Elite MP. She is part of Team Radiant Biz. You're going to see some dynamic things happening with her business. Um, I want everybody to come in, heart it up, invite your followers. If you're watching the replay, you can do the same thing. And my, my tone of voice is not matching the energy level I have right now to share this with you because I don't want to wake my daughter up. But I have to say this, one of my favorite, favorite quotes, if it was easy, everyone would do it, okay? I'm just coming to you with three tips for some motivation uh, right now in the middle of the week um, because I need it and I'm sure you need it as well I'm out here. Lord knows what just flew into my car. But, um, but uh, listen... If it was easy, everyone would do it. I want you to get your pen and paper out if you have the ability to take notes. If you don't, tap the screen. If you're able to type and uh, help me recap, that's wonderful. I appreciate it. But go ahead and invite your followers. Share this on Twitter. Share this on Facebook. Um, and right here on Periscope, what you do is um, you tap the little man right there in the corner of your screen. And it'll pull up a button that says share if you're new to periscope and it will allow you to um, invite your followers okay the reason why i wanted to talk about this and share one of my favorite quotes if it was easy everyone would do it is because um i notice a trend i notice a trend and a pattern of behavior where um you know we start something with so much enthusiasm and we have difficulty staying the course. And I'm not talking about anybody specific, okay? I know many of you work with me, you know, in my courses. I'm not calling anybody else. But if, if this speaks to you, then I hope it does. But I'm speaking to myself just the same. I'm telling you, you know that I'm committed to scoping Monday through Friday. And this little girl has been wearing me out. <laughs> and I did not feel like... I did not feel like coming on here today. I'm going to be very honest, okay? I didn't have time to do any makeup. It just was not one of those days. And um, I said, you know what? I made a commitment. And I am going to do my best, even if it's for a few minutes, to come in and deliver something uh, that's going to do what I promise, right, in my profile. Help radiant women illuminate their businesses online, right? So let's get right to it. All right, the first thing that I want to, I want you to reflect on is the fact that, number one, is that we are conditioned to work hard for a job. Most of us have no problem when it comes to discipline, uh, showing up on time, showing up consistently, um, meeting deadlines, handling deliverables, when it comes to uh, making somebody else's dream happen, right? When it comes to your nine to five, what it is that you pursue your degrees for, your, you know, bachelor's degrees, masters, PhDs, MDs, JDs, MBAs. I know you're all out there, and I know how you perform at work, right? Thank you, thank you, Christian. Yes, you are conditioned to work hard for a job, but when it comes to uh, your business, your vision, your book, right? Your consulting firm, your startup, no matter what that is, 
you just seem to have a hard time and expect that it's going to be easy. If it was easy, right, there would not be the risk factor involved that makes this entrepreneurship. But the reward is so much greater, okay? If you could just develop the discipline of staying the course. I like to say one of my mentors, George Frazier, talks about staying the course. And that's exactly what it says. Stay. Once you get started on that course, don't waver. Don't fall back no matter how tough it gets, no matter how uncomfortable it gets. Hold on for that ride, you know? And you need to uh, start to condition yourself to be able to put that same dedication to your own business. That is the only way you're going to see the measure of success that you're looking for, that you talk about, is to really, really, you know, I don't like to use the word grind and hustle anymore, um, just because of a certain mindset that, that I embrace, but... Um, it does take a dedication, a discipline, and a level uh, even harder. Uh, even harder, yeah. I'm not afraid to say hard, you know, um, because when something is new and you're just getting started, it's going to be somewhat difficult because it, it doesn't come easy to you. Many of you have been doing the same kind of job or in the same line of work or industry for years, or it's what you've trained for, it's what you've studied for, and your condition. It doesn't even seem hard because you, you can do it. It's like, it's like the back of your hand. You can do it. Uh, it's like you can say you do it in your sleep, right? Well, you need to get to that point when it comes to your, your business and what it takes to make your business grow. Some people say, Chanel, it seems like you're always, you know, so easy for you to do videos. and do. It's because I've been doing videos even before Periscope. I have countless, you know, pieces of content when I used to, you know, take videos whether it be on my camera or my cell phone um, years ago all right before live streaming became popular so I want you to just reconsider that that's number one um, your condition to work hard for a job now it's time to condition yourself to work hard for what it is that you say you want nobody is um, nobody is telling you that this is what you have to do, right? You're signing up to say, yes, I, I want to um, be in control of my own destiny. I want to, you know, be a six-figure earner. I want to stay home and be a mother and make time for my family or um, be a wife or travel, have a legacy, right? These are the things that you say you want. So you have to show up and work like you mean it, okay? Number two, the second thing is that um this cracks me up guys when I write notes and I can't read my notes. <laughs> and I can't read my own notes what does this say oh my god that is so that's so sad okay <laughs> yes hey Rosalind welcome come on in hearted up invite your followers Rosalind uh, we are talking about just sharing some bits of motivation. Everybody follow Roz and Renee. That's one of my sisters. Um, she is a dynamic health coach and a lupus survivor. Um, go ahead, follow her here and on Instagram. All right. Discipline starts. Thank you for sharing, Rosalind. Okay, okay. This, this is what I was going to say, guys. And this is so bad because I wrote this. I'm not going to tell you. I wrote this with a marker in my car, right? I, I was not prepared. Um, discipline starts. Okay. Discipline starts not when the money comes or when the clients comes. It starts before they even show up, right? Thank you for sharing on Facebook too, Rosalyn. I appreciate that. And for those of you who are newer to me, my name is Chanel Washington. I'm a startup expert and sales trainer. And you can follow me here on Periscope and on Instagram at Radiant Living Bids. All right. So the discipline. Many of us just are looking towards, okay, I want this many clients. I want to make this amount of sales. I want to sell this many books. I want to create this, sell this many tickets and sell out my events. I want to get booked as a speaker. I want, you know, I want this, I want that. But the discipline starts before, okay, the money comes and the client comes. It's not that they come first and then you're going to get your stuff together. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. You have to develop these habits now because when those orders start coming in, right, um, I grew my business 
from a few batches of body butter to a global um, beauty brand and product that was sought after where I'm shipping things to London, shipping things to the Netherlands, you know, having to keep up with so many different things, vendors, um, you know, manufacturing, customer service, man, 